So I know that you've seen on television in college, West Virginia, University of Florida, Missouri, running this spread offenses, and a lot of high schools are going to it. And maybe you're thinking about putting it in for your 11 and 12 year olds, but you're just not sure how. Today, we're going to go very rudimentary and give you a couple of the basics of the spread offense. And if you like it, maybe we'll come back and do some more shows later on. Kind of what we're doing here lately. We're going to take a couple of these different offenses that you may not know a lot about and just give you the basics. So today, spread offense 101 on Clubhouse Gas. Coach, thank you so much for joining us. Yeah. We're talking about the spread offense and how you use different formations to, to get what you're looking for. First and foremost, take us through the spread offense. With, with uh, any offense, the terminology is important, so identify for us who these guys are and what their, what their well, position's we'll, called. We'll start from the outside in. We've got a, a Z receiver who's going to be kind of a, our outside guy, uh, one of our more athletic type guys, um, can run the deep post but also catch a screen. Um, coming out of the backfield, we have an F-back. Uh, he's going to be predominantly more like a tailback type position. Um, we have our Y receiver, which uh, traditionally you would see as a tight end type receiver. Uh, your quarterback. And on this side, you have your H-back, which would be more of a fullback type position. And then the X, which is uh, another kind of like the Z, athletic guy who can catch screens and catch a deep ball. All right. So you, you were telling me that a lot of this offense has to do with formations. Take me through a couple of the formations real quick. Well, you can run. The good thing about it that's an advantage is you can run the same play out of several different looks, which makes it tougher on a defensive coordinator. Uh, you know, one of the plays we like to run, one of the screen plays we like to run that's very successful for us is a 41 right. So set up, set up a screen right here, and I'm gonna, what I'm going to do is I'm going to run the same play out of three different formations just to give you some looks. So run 41, this is out of our empty set, which means we got nobody in the backfield but the quarterback. Go. Now, yeah, a little, yeah. you guys block out. basically we're blocking in. the corner, we're blocking whatever the strong safety linebacker they have here, and it's a tunnel screen to the inside. Now we don't have our linemen here too, but we'll also pull two linemen out there too to uh, seal off any outside trouble we might have. All right, so that's that's your 41 out of, out of empty. Empty set. Now get an ace set. Is an ace set, and we can run the same play. Um, now is this tied in on, on, is he tied in on the tackle, or is he spread No, out he's off. Right? He's spread out now, okay. so it's kind of a spread look, so we're trying to extend their defense. Go ahead. Go. So, you know, and then uh, you can also run that out of... Uh, Maybe you want to run it out of a tight end look. So run it out of heavy, or we might have two tight ends in. And a lot of times you're looking at two tight ends, you might be thinking run, um, and we'll throw a screen out and double block it as well. All right, so that's three. That's the same screen out of three different formations. What about your running game? How does how do the different formations affect your running game? Well, as far as running game goes. Um, you know, traditionally in the spread and anything that you see now in the pros and in college is a lot of zone um, and zone blocking. We feel that zone is an important part of the offense, but we also like to run, uh, bla you know, traditional downhill stuff, blasts, isolations, uh, wedge plays. And you can do that out of a single back or a double back. Line up in blue. Line up in blue. And if we just want to run a, a you know, what we call a 24 ice, which our H back, our two back through the four hole. Just run a 24 ice, and we're trying to isolate on a linebacker with a lead block. So you can run some of the uh, what you, old school people call traditional type plays, isolation power type. plays, power blast. Um, we're not going to link ourselves into just running, uh, you know, a zone play and be limited to just zone plays. Right. So. How much does having an athletic quarterback? make your job easier. Uh, it's a huge advantage, especially, you know, when you're in a spread situation uh, and things deteriorate downfield, either, you know, they're sitting back in a zone. If you've got a guy that can take off and run, um, that's a huge advantage because, you know, you're getting, you're getting your defense spread out now, thin. Do you, you talk about changing formations to give you 
the matchups that you might want. Maybe you get a mismatch, get your uh, best offensive threat against yeah. maybe one of their their. their and a lot, players. a lot of that comes into game planning. Um, you know, one of our you know favorite plays. We got a big wide receiver. Hey, run a, you know, maybe when you got to get him isolated on a, a fade route. We want motion or Z over. Come on over and Zach. Now we got a one on one with our Y. Throw the fade. And we might, you know, you're talking about a kid here who's 6'3", 6'4", 220. Right. We got him singled out. On a corner. Uh huh. So a lot of that comes with game film and game planning. And so, so that's what I was going to ask you. Can you not only use, do you not only use the different formations, but also motions and shifts? Oh yeah, a well. lot, a lot of motions, a lot of shifts. I'll tell you one of our more successful plays. Uh, line up and empty, and run an H jet sweep. Any anytime you got some guys with some speed. We might bring this guy in motion right here. Run a little jet sweep to the outside, down block. Gets on the edge. You know, once again, extending the defense east and west, and then coming back north and south with some, some ISOs or some blast plays. That's a lot of great information, Coach. We know it's a it's a it's a very huge yeah. offense, and there's a lot going on. But maybe some of these coaches can get a better idea about what's going on at the youth level. Yeah, you know, one thing with an advantage is always play to the personnel that you have. You know, if you have if you got a good guy in the backfield, you know, don't don't think just because you're in a spread that you're locked into throwing the ball. You know, throwing the ball is a key component to it. Screens are important, but don't don't be afraid to run the ball as well. West Virginia has proved that over the years with Rich Rodriguez. Yeah, Spread them out and run the football. Definitely. All right, Coach, thank you so much. I All hope right. that you'll come back and join us again. Definitely. Appreciate it. And that's going to do it for us today. We'll see you right back here next time for another great edition of Clubhouse Gas.